Trying to hold on. He's had a fantastic tournament so far and loved to round it out with the final game. Looking solid. It's the first headshot onto Crim's bomb. Has been planted and Fnatic are deep in the A bomb site. Stacked on the site itself. Looking to get these crossfires going for the post plant. And Brolan has already done just that. Two instant headshots landed. Now Big Uri taking from this same side, but it's not going well for them. They get by this A stack should work much better for them. Yeah, this is where it should be working out. And Tabson, fantastic start in the round. Oh, he gets caught though, trying to jump into the pit. And now Zantara's on the AK. That is filled from Zantara's to double kill. And the third coming in from Tizian from the Incendiary. It is just Flusher alone. What a back and forth we've got here. Fantastic start into this one. And Flusher, we're trying his best. But Zantara secures the 3k. Well, Keita on top of first orange as he gets one kill on the hole. Now Searson's under pressure. He's got one, but he's overrun by Brawlin, who is currently... Now the pressure starts to mount for Fnatic. Still a man down. The rifle's coming in against him, but it's Crims with a Mac 10 with another headshot for Fnatic. Brawlin on the decoy. Oh, secures the second as well. Searson's been spotted. Gone back to dark. Keto falls as well. Now Searson is gone. He doesn't have his bit to play with. And the kills come in for Fnatic. This should be a clean round for them now. The NK47 in the hands of Tizian. Still there, so that's a save option. And Zantaris is absolutely nothing. So he'll be hanging around in the ruins. Seeing what he can pick up maybe on a player. Gets oh, he's down with the Golden running right around the corner. Uh, so although Tizian is a very small player, he'll want to keep this AK going into the next round. But mainly from a, a pure perspective, I'd love to have seen Zantaris. This is Zantaris away from the position. And now Tizian falling back as well. He's caught in the open. That's the first and the second on the sprite. To tuck himself back into the A bomb site, and this is fantastic from Big. A brilliant hold here on Inferno. And this is something when Big were on their purple patch of form, you're know, dominating top of the world rankings, looking real solid for quite a few weeks. It was something I loved to watch was their Inferno A hold. I feel like it was just brilliant. They're going back over towards B. And the two defenders have not moved. It's Keto up on top of the boost. The first kill's there. Can he get the second? Of course he can. Searson backs him up, but the two kills have come through. The Molotov burns away Keto. Well, and I think Big will have a decent idea that is the case. Tabson boosted, but JW spots him early. Into a 2v2, and both big players are going to group up in towards Ruins. Crims rounds the corner, but he's not ready. It's JW. He has to land two shots. He gets the first kill, but there's no way in hell he's getting the second one. Tizian makes sure to for big for this tournament that that's a bit of a surprise but let's see if some of them can step up here taps in under pressure he's got the first kill he will burn away to the molotov though and now the attack from fanatic gets through it jw has already crossed over but they're aware of this possibility and jw will lose the duel against keto one bullet would have been enough and now brawlin and crims moving forward at least a couple of bullets should i say that and now brawlin very low in HP. It's second oranges will be swung. Keto with a second kill. Now Crims under pressure. Multiple players running into his cross there. Just too many to handle. Even 11-16 against Vitality. A lot of close ones. Santares though. Calm down, my man. Oh, the flash is so good. But Big will be taking their time. Utility still available. And still be using it up. Clearing up. Limiting all the positions. And now Flusher at Pillar with the first headshot. Can he get another one? Pushing in from Ruins of Tizian. And Flusher stepping up with a double. JW now needs to stand tall. And he's got the first. Crouched here at Pool. As Antares crosses into the open. It's an instantaneous headshot. A little bit of pressure in towards top middle. And currently here is Deerstead with the first kill. Flash over the top, Tizian is able to peek with it, and it's another kill on the board. Make it a second for Tizian, and a third on the round for Big. They go up to a 4v2, and Tizian takes the orb. Oh, I'm loving the confidence from Big right now. They are just fucked. But Tizian might just get the perfect timing on the peak. He cannot take the kill, and now Flush is caught between three players. Definitely not a bad... Oh, wow, okay. Flush it with the kill on the dig. We've got to calm down for a second because Keto is going to have to make sure he holds this. He goes back for more. Almost gets that second kill, but he's almost out of ammo. Keto having to run away just about gets away with his life. And Searson has arrived on the rotate. Tizian elsewhere has got a kill. Searson will go down without a single frag. So it's again all to Keto. He's trying to hold this B bomb site. He's done so much in the round, but he's on 7 HP and he gets peaked, but the headshot swings out, takes down Crims, and it's all on JW. 4 HP caught transitioning from the pistol. 
Yeah, quite it down a little bit, but nonetheless, he has a chance to try and step up again, but the peak from Tizian swings around the corner. Good for one, but Crims with the immediate answer back. 4v3, man advantage still available to Fnatic, but Santaras, who has been very confident so far on the CT site, going on a bit of a wander. Do not find much apart from a bullet to the head. Crims taking him down, and now Tabson alongside Kido, trying to win the round for big. It's looking like his pick almost surely locked in, but Kido has picked off one. Crims with another headshot. That's just three with the AK-47. Coming out of the apartment. Golden looking the wrong way. No suppliers in pit. Misses the headshot. And now this looks like it is done. Fnatic with six rounds at the half. B-bomb site. And now Crims holding to the A site. Bomb is on the back of taps. And good peek from Crims. Still gets one out of that position. But the defense what is, is going on on the map weak. right now. <laughs> well, it looks like you've got a player middle with the jewelies here. Brawlin goes down to Tapson. This is just a mental round. But JW tries to swing out short. Zantaris is there for the headshot. And like it was uh, meant to be, Big looking to pick up this pistol round. Flush is not going to be ready for Kia, surely, with the headshot. There's a player that seems. But he has to go out of the bomb site. And this does isolate a couple of these fights as Brawlin gets one out of that. I thought he was going to walk away with nothing that. I threw a couple of whiffed bullets, but he does eventually recover. Yeah, big not wasting any time this time round. Tizian, oh, the pre-fire around the corner. Probably more their rolls than anything that causes their poor stats. That's a nice nade stack down mid. Golden gets the kill with it. But there's not that much more left for Fnatic, just the USPs. Tabson with the double kill. Golden and JW go down. And now it is Crimson Flusher into a two versus four. Just the USPs in play, of course. So it's easy picking four big who now get themselves a 12th round. Running through the apartments. Keto not wanting to waste any more time. Walking up through short. Brawlan with the first headshot. Tabs in the falling victim. And Brawlan will look for another one with this gap to play with as well. But Big have so many players still poised towards this A bomb site. For that, they have a good hold though. And the first kill is Crims. Tizian picks up a trade kill, but Brawlin's still alive in the pit. That smoke is still allowing him to wrap around. A brilliant flash by. Fantastic place from Brawlin. And play from the A bomb site itself with Big sending players out long. JW has repositioned, but misses the shot. Now it's Golden's turn to try and light them up. It's a first kill, but that is all he will find. Tizian with the immediate headshot in reply from the Big Swing. That's his 20th kill so far on the server. And they're just going to make a beeline to this B bomb site. Flusher, the only player over here, has ported one down in towards CT. And Sendai will try and hold them off, but low HP here, Tizian. Don't walk into the fire. He'll walk close to it and still takes down Flusher. Keto holding off the flank up banana, but three players swing into his cross hat. And now Big need to be aware of this. The CT starts to push. Tizian nearly dies to that nade. Tizian still waiting patiently. Sprays down the first. Tapson and Tizian fighting together and Tapson. Tabson's got one from above. That crossfire was really nice from Big, just using those different angles of elevation. And Tabs. Crims is biding his time. This could be good. JW is going to go down the Crims. Can he light them up? He gets one kill from the Cubby. That's not good enough. And now we've got 4v3. Still pulled back by Golden, but the kill from Kido on the other side of the map is good. But the swing up top mid with a bomb. And that should give the round to Fnatic at least close enough. But Kido. Still have to recover that bomb. And Molotov is the only piece of utility he has left. He needs this instant kill on the Brawlin, and he's got it. Now repositioning yet again. Hide up in the apartments. Keto taking a safe plant to the back of the site. Golden now holding the cross back, and it's the immediate headshot from the AWP. They're still 14-8 up, and these mollies down Banana and down mid won't do enough because Tearson's got two kills on Banana. He wants more. Flusher finally deals with him. And okay, JW's got another kill back for Fnatic into a 3v3. Oh, this AWP is in one of the weirdest positions, but this might work for JW. He doesn't get away with his life. If there's any AWP to pull that kind of position off, though, it would be JW, but even he gets punished in this scenario. And big answering back. Tizian close by with a Mac 10. Walks around the corner, gets one. Zantaris as well doing good work, and he wants another one. A second pill picked up, and that's probably enough to win this map now. Big. So far ahead, even in this round, and Searson with the AWP is going to be hard-checked. Golden with a headshot on the Deagle. Flusher 
trying to get over from library. He might get this kill. He's close to it, but not close enough. Tazman picks it up and secures victory for Big on map number one. Looking good for Big right now. The pressure's really off. The individuals all... All right, with that loose play, we're expecting to see the same sort of play from Keto, and, well, we're already getting a good start for Big. Trades at top mid successful for them. Flush a dink down as well. Big with the man advantage and a good bit of damage done. A lot of damage being inflicted at the start that he was hoping for. Having to fall back now, and finally Golden peeks out wide to take him out of contention. Tabson trying to do what he can, but Golden's got another one. So he's got the Glock in his hands. Now one versus the three brawling around the backside. You're not looking the right way. And it's Fnatic with the pistol pickup. In Tabson in middle, Golden catching him off. And will be Fnatic with the one-man advantage at the start of this one. Now Zantara's walking up with the Deagle, looking to peek down Khan. And Golden holding at the top from behind triple. He's got the M4 in play. Golden with the second headshot as well. Krim sweeping on by and Fnatic taking this round easily. That's what you want to see out of them. Clean and clinical rounds. And fours, but Searson is hungry for blood, as is JW. Pushed with the MP9, but Zantara's is ready for it. Back to the window, and Keto holding for the aggressive ramp peak. It's brawling in with one. That's six kills added to his tally. And right now we're looking at what seems to be a fantastic start to the round from Big with that second kill from Tabson, allowing Big into the advantage and Searson with the kill up short as well. Fnatic trying their best to draw back into this one, but it isn't happening. Big are fighting back. They're coming out on top, and now it is Golden and Brolin. And a two versus three, the headshot from Tizian's good. And now just Brolin left alone in a 1v3. There's not much he can hope to do here. He's on the other side of the map, and big. They still have a player in middle. Santaris has just crossed out, and Brolin hasn't seen it. Walking back, Santaris ready for the kill. And that's where they're finding a lot of their success. Now, JW has the ult here on the CT side, and he's already got the first kill with it. That smoke at window not going according to plan. It gets blocked, and JW's still looking for more fights. Flusher holding the cross, Tizian with the headshot. And that is lightning fast indeed. Flusher is falling victim to it. And now Golden has gone up through the underpass. Up to the right side is Tabson caught with a bomb. The peak is perfect from Golden. He nearly gets the double kill, but luckily Big are able to pull one back. And Tizian's position could be everything to secure this round for Big. He's already in the market, but Santara's tried to pull utility. And he's just going to get shut down by the AWP because of that. Can't be hanging around that window too long there, Santaras. And now, Keto, last in a one versus three clutch, Alex. It's a Molotov, but he doesn't have the chance to use it. JW. Have some walking up now, brawling as well behind triple. Peeks down into connector, but it's Santaras with the headshot brawling out of that. And these pistols look like they had a chance of doing something, but Golden has just handed them a disaster. If the bomb goes down in the connector there, Alex, that's the round done for big, but they still got a chance here. Flusher walking into jungle. Keto just lets him walk on by, and now it's an M4. Oh, JW arriving just at the right time to take out the man who had just planted the bomb. Tizian's playing up close though, and JW isn't aware of it. Nice angle from Tizian, an unexpected position from JW's perspective, and it's up to Crims to try and keep his team in control of this game. AK in hand, there's not much money in the bank for Fnatic, so it could be great for him to win this round. And it's planted safe, the bomb's planted safe, and Keto's so far away, shots landed, but Crims can lock this in. He's on the defuse, Keto trying to close the distance, the shots will land in time. Keto wins the round for big. To the B site, the bomb's back at the apartments, and Tizian's gonna fake B. He goes down early, has he drawn enough of a rotation, though? Because the bomb is arriving on the A site. They threw three smokes over to B, but Brolan has stuck around at A, and Keto's not ready. Oh, no. Easy kill for Brolan. Oh! Make it a second. Great play from Brolan, and Big have so much to do. Yeah, that second swing for Brolan's huge. Just can't deny the bomb plant. A third kill for Brolan. And that's why you don't rotate until you've seen the bomb fully. He's still playing that A anchor position back behind for the smoke, and Keto might just provide... Oh, he spotted him. Crim's on the jump, sees Keto on the stairs, and he'll spam through the smoke for the equalizing kill. 
Uh, where can they go with this one? Houston wanted to go for the big flank, but he's come right back around spawn. The kills for some towers. Golden fighting back for Fnatic. And now both players, both remaining players for big are standing on the A ramp. Flash to allow Tabson to peek out on towards the bomb side as well. Sirius will throw that up, but now Tabson swings on by. Perfect flash by. First player is blinded. The kill comes through, and Sirius secures the final. And this P250 should be getting a kill. Tizian has no idea what's about to happen to him. Crims comes around the corner, rattles away, pulls out the AK, and that's a little bit more to play with for Fnatic. Flusher has also found a kill on the pistol. Prince of this AK will try his best, but very awkward position to be stuck in. Itchy lands, but it doesn't do a whole lot. On to Kido and Santaras. Thompson taking that kill. That's probably the chances of the round win gone up until this point. With Crims up another, Brolin has picked up one. And suddenly, it's all on Tapson. A one versus two back from short. Crims trying to take the jewel. The bomb is planted for him in the late round, and they have to get on it. There's no kit, and this might just be... All she wrote for Fnatic in this round. Tabson with another clutch. He's got like a Galil. He's got a Mac 10 in two hands. So same smokes on B when they faked it previously. This time though, they're gonna fake the oh. fake. Tizian is pretending this is a B fake. And then it looks like they might end up going B. But with Keto getting that killer A, I don't even know what they're gonna do now. They've just got all the kills they need. It doesn't matter what strat they're running. They're just winning every single fight. And that bomb is about to go down finally on the B site. Yeah, fantastic round from Big. This was a round they shouldn't have been favored to win. They obviously get enough weaponry to make it look competitive, but they come back into things. They keep fighting. And Sirius can... with the kills, and Taz closes it out. Big will lead in the first half. We head into the second. By sitting back, hoping you can get an easier kill. Oh, that boost has been spotted. Big were hoping for a quicker play through short. Flusher denies that from happening. And Golden's got another kill with the Glock. Brolan playing up close. They might not be ready for this angle. He fights them early. Two players trapped, but oh, Brolan goes back for more. Golden trading again. It's fights all over the B-bomb site, but Golden is the man. Baker doing a good job of making a little go a whole long way, Alex. This is definitely looking good. Searson jumps up on top. Look how much damage is done onto Fnatic right now. These pistols, one bullet to the chest is going to be enough onto oh. most of these players. Tabson's on the flank as well. If they don't watch their backs here on the Fnatic side, there are so many low health players. Tabson could actually go massive. Oh my God, here we go. One kill for Tabson, but the Deegan accuracy strikes against him. Still doesn't matter though. All the kills coming in. What a round for big. Every single... Seriously has a good angle right now. Just holding for that walkout. Kido has got one on two, bro, man. Big ourselves. It's looking like a shutdown at this point. Big are finding all of the kills. All the important jewels are going their way. Finally, JW and Golden fighting back. It is going to be a 1v2 round for Golden as he gets through the murder hole. He'll bring that bomb back. But waiting for him is down Taras. He's not a player you want to be waiting for you. 10 kills on the board. Fourth Fnatic, or, or should I say 10? No, this is just a formality at this point to play out the round, but Tabson has just been goofed up. We'll peek out and take one. Of course, he gets two kills still. Tizian with the apartment's aggression, working it out for one. And now it's just Crims, left alone with a Glock, and Fontaras will replace Tabson's position. They have to fight from a man behind. Fontaras with the headshot. JW. The victim, and now while well, this looks like a locked in round for big, I should be taking 12 on the board, no problem, unless Fnatic can pull something miraculous off coming into the A bomb site. Two players stuck just back in the ramp. Flusher jumping around in Palace trying to pull Keto in. He might just be able to do it, but Keto gladly walks into Palace, this time taking the headshot onto Flusher. And Fnatic are now just stuck in a two versus five. Crims with the headshot. At least one for Fnatic in the round, but that is all they will get. Just a single kill. Good backup options, right? If you try and go for maybe an execute or a faster play, Big's utility usage is normally great. It's normally going to deny you. This could work, but Searson just got two for one, and he gets the third on the mid hold. Oh, man. Fnatic getting some early kills, getting some early fights. The AWP, this corner, is not going to be easy to get around for Flush. He needs to be aware of this, and he is already so all. But Searson still with the kill. Keto stuck at the ramp. Brolin and JW around the corner. And Keto with one kill. JW able to find something on the AWP and still a man advantage for Big. 
Still Fnatic have to face a large amount of adversity. And Searson, the timing isn't good to pull out the utility. He still spots the armor flusher and the timing. On the shot through the smoke the second time is perfect. Flusher falls and now it's just JW and Golden trying to make this A attack work against four. It's not looking likely. In fact, it's looking almost impossible. But with Golden on that quick headshot, gives him a slight chance. He's had enough. He wants to run forward. And Searson shuts him down alongside Tizian. The bomb down. Either way, they were behind. But here comes a faster play from Fnatic. Trying to switch it up. Kido under the wood. Gets one kill on the JW. Will now be looking for a little bit more as the T-side continue to push out. Taps him with a double. Can he get more? Of course he can. Three kills collected. And that was just Crims stuck on Tetris. Fnatic have been running at the same bomb site time and time again, hitting it over and over. And it's 15. Of all the top 20 teams, they have the lowest trade percent on Mirage. They're down there with low flash assists as well, that they just haven't been having a great time on this map. It's come through on the server today, and Big just one round away from victory, and just three kills away from victory. They're just fighting. They want this over right now. Yeah, this is looking done, but they have done a lot of damage onto Tabson and Santaras, and they have just pulled a kill back. Crims, 15 kills. Flusher on 7. We'll have a chance to make up for that, but Searson is quicker. Not quicker, but he did have a better gun. That does mean that Flusher will fall. And now it's just Crims left alone, securing victory as Santaras and Big. Oh, your fifth place team here at DreamHack Open Fall, a team that had dominance in the summer, but here they have looked uh, a little shaky at times, but for the most part, a strong recovery and a strong finish to the game now against Fnatic 2-0.